digital anchor Rachel Ramsey joins us from the NBC4 I Digital Center with a look at the stories making headlines online this morning. Good morning, Rachel. Hey, good morning, Christine. Top trending online, an Ohio lawmaker is proposing a bill to require seatbelts on school buses after a crash last week left an 11-year-old student dead and at least 25 more injured. Legislation is in the works of requiring seatbelts on school buses statewide after the Clark County crash August 22nd. Now, if the proposed legislation passes the state house, Ohio will join eight other states in requiring seatbelts on school buses. Once signed into law, lawmakers said the seatbelt requirement will not go into effect for three to five years to allow the legislature time to address associated costs. Today is International Overdose Awareness Day, and Franklin County Public Health is holding an event to help. Tonight, the agency is holding their Hope and Bloom event at Lower Dotcom Field, providing resources and raising awareness about addiction. The event is a family-friendly opportunity to not only raise awareness, but to reflect, remember, and honor those who have died from overdoses and to help those who are struggling with addiction. Now, along with free food, activities, and entertainment, there will also be community partners Partners providing free harm reduction resources. Everything from uh, addiction services uh, to uh, community health workers uh, will also be providing vaccination. It'll be a time for us to, to really gather as a community, reflect and recommit uh, to uh, supporting our residents and, and our families. Now the event runs from 4 to 7 tonight and for more on Hope and Bloom and additional resources, you can find it on our website. And from the festivals to the Ohio State Buckeyes, there are plenty of fun events to see and do this Labor Day weekend. The Columbus Greek Festival kicks off tomorrow, runs through Monday. Also this weekend is the Obed Zucchini Fest, which also goes through Monday. And the Ohio State Buckeyes open their season against Indiana University at Memorial Stadium. And that is an all for a full list of events happening this weekend, including summer farmers markets and county fairs. Just go to our website, NBC4i.com. And I cannot believe it's football season already. I know, Christine, you're probably super excited about it. I'm very excited about it. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, I've worn scarlet every single day this week and intend okay. to again tomorrow. <laughs> so very, very excited about this, Rachel. I just can't believe summer is coming to an end, though, so that's kind of a bummer. Yeah, you know, I'm kind of happy about it. I'm I'm over these hot temperatures. I'm, I'm a big fall girl, so I'm excited for it. Well, well don't look at the seven-day. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> just, just Close your eyes to that. Yeah. All right. Well, for the latest news, weather, and sports 24-7, make sure you visit NBC4i.com. You can also stay connected while you're on the go with our free NBC4 News app. You can download it today in the Apple or Google Play stores.